Hey guys, today we're taking a look at this old computer to extract its DVD drive, which is on the upper one, sorry, right here. That's what we need to connect to a newer computer that doesn't have it because, you know, new computers, too beautiful to have one. And it has two small Phillips on the side. Sometimes they have thumb screws, sometimes star screws or T screws. You just take those two out and then we will have to remove the uh, front panel in order to push the dvd drive out it has four tabs some of them have two tabs some of them are just pull it and the tabs are built in this one was one of those that you take the pull tabs out and just pull the beautiful dvd rom out that is very very dusty it has not been used in years and i'm only making this part of the video to show you how you would extract it and if you find it on a computer that's one dollar or free don't forget there's a lot of parts that can be still used from these older pc towers okay guys and uh here we have the good stuff now after we extracted some of them and yes i have a pile of them somewhere that i extracted from uh, older computers that were either mine or people that just told me okay toss them away i I have no longer any use for it. And now these are the three. In my case, I'm gonna use the light scribe because I need to have a light scribe, but they're as good, they're all writers, except these two don't have a light scribe, but what they have in common is a full SATA connector on the back. And yes, I know a lot of times probably you are told you have to, you know, just leave it and never use CD or DVD again and buy a lot of different adapters and connectors and all that stuff uh, absolutely not actually it's very cheap to make one of these work with your current pc no matter what type of pc or what kind of pc you have all you need is either one of these as you see right here or one of these it's a sata to usb you can uh likewise buy a sata to usb c as well if your laptop for example or computer doesn't have full usb in this occasion we're gonna put this on the side and we're gonna go with one of these as you see right here it's just a sata to this kind of micro usb thingy and where i got this from that's very easy one of these drives let's say uh it's right here you take the cap off they all have it and sometimes you can find these extremely extremely cheap and you can find sometimes even for a dollar or two if you look uh long enough <laughs> you will find it and you can have a nice cd dvd drive writer and reader on your computer this one is the longer version as you see right here look it works just the same way but i finally found a shorter one because it fits better on the back of the dvd drive this one works as well the same way so let me put this back where it was real quick because i'm not gonna extract every drive i, I have in the house right now is all we need here is this one and yes they come with a cable it's gonna be this uh, cable right here as you see it's quite straightforward yes my hands are dirty because i was working with this dirty pc to extract that clip you saw there and all you do is the low profile where it comes to work you put it like this and it goes almost flush with it and you connect the usb right here let me just put it right in as such you open it up and you just plug it to your computer that's all it takes and after it has been recognized by your computer it will show up right here as dvd rewritable drive and that is a good thing if you click it it will open the tray okay and as you saw the tiny disc on the cursor that i told you now that means that it's reading the dvd i did not install uh, extra drivers or anything on this computer for this dvd drive so we'll just take a shot and as you saw right there it said hotel rwanda the dvd whatever and if we click here i'm trying not to play it because you know we don't have exact rights to share it i only have rights to watch it i use one of these things 
they're nice and slim and small but they're not as fast and powerful as these ones here these are actually really really good and now that you know how that works and that it actually works i'm just gonna take the movie out of it right here and it goes back on my collection yes that's how dvds used to be played or movies and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we will see you next time bye